Good morning, everyone. Well, actually, it's not morning anymore. It's afternoon. We changed our clocks last night. Um, daylight savings time, lose an hour, spring ahead, all that stuff. So last night around 9 o'clock, I was like, oh, we changed the clocks tonight. So because um, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, good morning. I'm painting some lemons for this tin. I know if you guys want to chit chat a little bit. So um, I did a white base coat yesterday and now I'm going back and painting my lemons. So what's new? It's a beautiful sunny day today. Oh, I should probably put on my hat because sometimes you guys forget where I'm from. And so I know you all want to know that. Anyway, um, beautiful day today, a little chilly, but it's sunny. And as long as it's sunny, I like it. So we are having work done in our house starting tomorrow. I have a, one of my favorite rooms in my house is a mud room and laundry room combined. And I've been in my home since 92, 28 years, I guess. Yep. Yeah. And so Tomorrow we have a contract. He's actually a friend of the family starting and we're redoing the mud room. So I will have before and after pictures for you guys. I'm very excited. It's been something I've been wanting to do for a long time because actually it's the entrance we most use into the house. We don't really use our front door. This is more of like a side door by the garage. And so it's really like the first view people get when they walk in. And when we first did it, um, it was one of the last rooms of the house. It was a mud room, so I didn't really care. We had a dog, so it had to be, you know, fairly maintenance free. And here we are almost 30 years later, and I'm like, this is disgusting. So, <clears throat> um, my husband, perfect husband for me, went and picked up the tile we picked yesterday. And the guy starts tomorrow. And I'm very excited. I can't wait to see it. So, we're putting taut new, well, right now, honestly, we have linoleum tile squares on the floor from final tile. BCT, whatever you guys call it, wherever you are. So we're putting ceramic tile. Um, and putting beadboard on half the wall and painting the top like a really pale blue. So anyway, like I said, I'm very excited. I will keep you guys in the loop and show you the pictures as we progress. Anybody doing anything exciting today? I know St. Patrick's Day is coming up. What's today? Hi, Fran. Good morning to you. Um, painting lemons. Can you see? So today's the eighth. So next week, I don't know. How many of you guys like corned beef and cabbage? I love corned beef and cabbage. If it was more accessible, I would make it numerous times a year. Actually, I eat corned beef, but my favorite part of corned beef and cabbage is the boiled cabbage and the boiled potatoes. Hey, BCF! For those of you who are watching, BCF is best convention friend because my friend Fran and I hit it off two years ago at the One Stroke Convention in Orlando, Florida. We had never met. We sat next to each other at the convention for four whole days, four and a half days. And um, it's like we've known each other all our lives. So unfortunately, I live in New York and she lives in Florida, but thanks to the wonders of the interweb, we get to keep in touch. <clears throat> So for those of you who are wondering, you can see I have double loaded my brush with Moon Yellow 
and lemon custard. Folk art, multi-surface paints. <clears throat> For the base coat of the lemons. Because as you know, in one stroke painting, or as you may have heard me say, um, one stroke is the ability to blend, shade, and highlight all in one stroke. So you want a light color and a dark color when you double load your brush. So I have the base of my lemons in. I'm gonna add a little lighter in here. And I'm gonna let this dry a little bit because I wanna shade them a little nicer. I'm gonna add some more light highlight to that. Um, and a little bit of shade to the bottom of the fruit where you presumably where it would be resting on a counter or the basket <clears throat> or wherever you keep your fruit. Can you guys see? So. Yes, yes, we fell in love. Me and my friend Fran. Who are, her name is, um, I don't even know if she knows this, but her name is, if you can see it up there, it says Fran Shorter Scott, but she's in my phone as Francis Scott Key because um, I'm quirky like that. I have a nickname for everyone. So um, they're endearing, loving nicknames 99% of the time. Um, but anyway, yeah, so she's in my phone. and I probably never told her, but she's in my phone as Francis Scott Key because so, I just thought that was a cool name. Anything ever happens to me, people are gonna be like, who the heck is Francis Scott Key? Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, Franny. So it's amazing. I guess you never really know. Uh, I'm gonna clean this. I'm gonna work on my leaves while I let the lemons dry. Um, I guess you really know, you never know how much stuff you have until you have to do something with it, move, pack it, look for something, whatever. So, um, doing the mud room. I didn't go through everything. I'm gonna go through it. We moved everything out. So we had to move everything out of the bottom of the closets. Um, all my laundry stuff, whatever. There's, a, there's washer, dryer, refrigerator in there. And then there was a cabinet that I kept like my bleach and my soap suds and stuff in. So did all my laundry yesterday. So I'm going to be without laundry probably for at least a week. So um, we moved it all out. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, you guys. Too much stuff. But I didn't go through it. What I'm going to do is once the laundry room is redone and I'm moving stuff back in, that's when I'm going to go through it. And I'm going to toss hopefully at least half of it so now I'm using citrus green and sap for my leaves I'm using the same brush I rinsed it out and I'm going to hi Sarah I'm going to um, double load my brush with the two colors can you see am I close enough dip a corner dip a corner and double load. You want to really fill the brush with paint, but you don't want to get it up into here. This is called the ferrule. You don't want to get it into the ferrule, but you want to have, you know, at least three quarters up filled with paint in your brush. You want to have a nice, nice, nice amount of paint in your brush. So I think today I'm working on a packet that I'm going to be giving out for free. It is, um, I can tell you, it's going to be a, a beehive and bees. I think an 8 by 10 I'm going to do. So I'm going to put it all together. Um, and so look for that. That'll be available probably uh, first week in April. That'll be my first packet. So that'll be available soon. Tracers, paint colors, um, step-by-step -step directions, 
pictures, steps, photos line up. So I'm going to have that all um, available as a free gift to you guys because I love you so much and I appreciate you guys watching me and supporting me. Oops, went the wrong way. I hate when that happens. I messed up my runway, I'll show you. See, I turned my brush around and I mixed up the two greens. So then I just go over here and start a new runway. <clears throat> it happens. <clears throat> Sometimes it's a little hard to get up here. There we go, in the corner. There we have the leaves. I can't read your whole thing, craft room. Then I found out grandma was spending the night. Oh, your, oh, your grandson, your grandson was spending the night. Your grandson who just graduated from, I think the Marine Academy, boot camp, Marine boot camp. That's exciting. He's a handsome young man. Good for him. Congratulations on the um, boot camp. Not that I know, but um, I'm sure it wasn't easy. So I'm just going to do a few leaves. I want to, um, I guess, there we go. So I have those three leaves there. But I want to, I'm waiting for my lemons to really dry because any leaf that I'm going to put over the lemon, I want the lemons to be dry and complete. And then I'll do my leaves on top. <clears throat> be surprised. Like, I love to paint. Obviously, I love to paint. And I love to share my love of art. Um, but I'm not, one of my weaknesses is layout. So I, d I don't really have, I have to see it. I have to sketch it out first. I have to tweak something I see in a magazine or an art catalog or whatever, um, because I don't really have a mind's eye. So I need, I need something concrete to look at for inspiration, not to copy, but for inspiration. So, um, I always have to like think where I'm gonna put the leaves, how I'm gonna lay everything out before I get started. Sometimes I just paint to paint and let it flow, but when I'm doing something that I'm gonna be listing or for a customer, I need to know the direction I'm going in. <clears throat> I forget what they want on this, but as you know, once these are painted, I clear coat them and then they get personalized. I forget what they want on this, their last name. Sometimes people want a last name. Sometimes it's happy birthday, happy anniversary. Um, so before I, after I clear coat and before I get to cut the vinyl on my Silhouette Vinyl Cutter, I will go back and confirm that and um, cut what I need to cut for whatever it is that they want on this. Sometimes it just says welcome or happy spring or whatever. One time I made a mistake. Um, I thought it was for a wedding, but it was for a 10th anniversary. This is only a few months ago. So instead of putting, I put, I think it was November something, November 2019, because I thought it was for a wedding gift, but it was for an anniversary gift. So it was supposed to say 2009 and I shipped it to California. I felt really, really bad, but I fixed it. It was all good. It worked out. She was very happy with it. The recipient loved it, and that's all that matters. <clears throat> I 
Sorry, these handles, I know. Can you see? Make noise. And I, when I get done, too, I will go back in with my little liner brush and add stems to these leaves. <clears throat> show you I'll pick it up that's one side and that will be personalized and that's the other side <clears throat> now I'm gonna take a little bit of this um, yellow ochre to make my shadow <clears throat> I'm only gonna need a tiny tiny bit and it's just gonna go along the bottoms where uh, the lemon or the fruit would be resting and shaded. And in this case, I'm using what's called floating medium. It's what it paint is made of before they add the color. And I'm getting my brush loaded up with that. And then I'm just gonna put a little corner, a little corner, in the yellow okra. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna follow the edge of the, oh, I'm gonna do it on the right side. I'm gonna follow the edge here and just add some shading to the lemon. Move a little bit over here. See that? Just how it adds that little bit of darkness under there, shades the bottom of the lemon. <clears throat> and then a little here, because technically I have the three lemons and I want to differentiate between the three. <clears throat> Hi Rachel, how are you? So I'm going to get a little bit. You can't see it. These are plastic. I, uh, they look like paper plates, aren't they cool? So I'm going to load up my brush with, uh-oh. It's picking up what's on the bottom. I don't want to do that. I'm going to load up my brush. And then I'm going to get the little corner. Corner, corner, corner. And the yellow ochre for, can you see? Yeah, I think so. And I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to follow the curve and where it be shadowed on the bottom of the fruit. And the same thing. Over here. And then the same thing over there. And uh, let me do a little bit of shading up here under these leaves too. Can you see I'm trying to... I'm going to go in Then I'm going to mix a little bit of white with my yellow. Just to tone down my bright yellow a little bit and make like a little bit of a glare. I've heard that, Sarah. I know lemons are very popular. I did lemons um, 
Really nice lemon wreath. I should relist that on my site. Last year I did, I'm gonna post it. So last year I did a live and I had never painted a lemon before in my life. Hey Nancy, how are you? Um, I had never painted a lemon before in my life and I was like, hey y'all, here I am. I'm gonna paint lemons and never did it. And I was like, this is brave. If this could go south really, really quick. But it worked, it was good. And now I love painting them. Now I'm just out of guess you can't. Sorry guys, I should pay attention. I just want to add a little bit of shine here. Not too much. A little glare where you think the sun would be or the light source, whatever. Yeah, I will look for my um, original lemon painting, my brave original lemon painting, and show that to y'all. <clears throat> you can see that... Um, one lemon is obviously in front of the other. That's one side and that's the next. So I'm gonna just go back in um, oh, I know what I want to do. Can you see? I'm going to get my liner brush. Get a little, I need some brown. Can I reach it? No, one second, I'm going to scooch. <clears throat> I think this is it, right? Yep. Burnt umber. It's a very deep, almost darkish black brown. Um, put out a tiny bit of this. wet my brush so I get a nice fine point on my liner brush. Pick up some paint and now I'm just gonna go in and dab the top. You know how the lemons have the little um, connector part for the stem? Just dab that in. So it's there. It's these little details 
that really, I think, make the difference. Okay, rinse that off. I'm gonna pick up some of this dark green and go in and add my leaf stems. I'm gonna add a few more leaves. But while I have you guys, I'm gonna show you each of the steps. So like I said, stay tuned for my packet. I'm gonna give you guys a free packet if you wanna paint. It's gonna be bees and a beehive. Uh, these will be eight by 10, full color pictures and instructions and tracer for placement. And uh, that's it, here's my lemons. And I will look for my video of my lemons from last year and paint that and you guys can, you know, compare. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye-bye.